Yeah, totally. Okay, so this is fun. Um, I kind of sort of prepped you for this in the walk your walk, but um, so my favorite, one of my favorite easiest conversations to have with women who are struggling with food and weight is just like bringing them back to the basics of like, okay, like clearly food and weight is something that's really important to you. Let's talk about why. Right? Like, let's just ask the question, why? Because what we're doing is we're basic, we're cutting the shit. You know, we're like, we're actually getting, the only reason food and weight is, is important to any of us women, any of us, right? Again, this is a cultural thing. So this is across the boards. The only reason food and weight is important to any of us is because what we think weight means, right, is because of what we think we're going to get from being thinner, how we think people are going to react to us from being thinner, how we think, you know, what we think is going to happen when we're thinner, or conversely, what we're afraid will happen if we weren't thinner, or if we stayed the same, or if we gained weight, God forbid, or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so when we start to look, when food and weight stuff is getting a little crazy, and we're starting to feel, you know, and, and clients are feeling a little like overwhelmed in that area or whatever. A big question to come back to always is like, why is food and weight so important to you to begin with? Like, what meaning are you attaching to food and weight? Because food and weight has no meaning in and of itself. Like, when you were a baby and you were born, food and weight meant nothing. It only began to mean something because of all these, like, sort of cultural stories that we attach to it. Like, when I'm thin, I'll get a husband. When I'm thin, I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to take those photos for my website and I'll finally start my business, um, or, which is a big one. On that. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one that comes up for people in the coaching world. I mean, women who struggle with body image issues and want to be coaches, I will say I hear a lot of I'm holding off on getting these pictures taken type of stuff because of weight. And that ends up just holding women back from starting their businesses, which is a real shame. Um, so, you know, again, and, it, and it's, the question is, why? Like, what do I think will happen, right? Do I think I'll get more clients if I was thinner? Do I think, what am I making thin mean, right? Like, what do I think I'm going to get from that? That's a really, probably one of the single most important questions you could ask any of your clients because what's going to happen is you start to actually realize the things that you're really afraid of, the things you really want, like I want a satisfying relationship, I want like a really thriving career and like a full client roster, I want um, I want my mother to to finally stop picking fights with me, I want, I mean God knows there's a million things that could come out of that um, but when we start to talk about why we want to be thin, then we're actually talking about real shit, mm. right? Like, then we're actually starting to talk about, like, what people actually want in the world. And then, actually, then we have an opportunity to start doing something about those things, right? Like, you want a satisfying relationship? Like, instead of waiting to be thin to get a satisfying relationship, let's talk about wa actual ways that you could start getting a satisfying relationship right now. Like, what's actually keeping you from the satisfying relationship? Or, like, what do you really need to be doing in order to get a satisfying relationship? Because guess what? Losing weight is not how you get a satisfying relationship. That's bullshit, right? So, you could be like 90 pounds and still have no satisfying relationship. Trust me, there are many women who fall into that boat. Um, so yeah, so it's sort of like you're you're cutting out the middleman. You're 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 cutting out the bullshit. You're keeping women from making things that aren't really about their weight. And you're t and you're starting to talk about what's really going on, right? Like it's you're starting to get women into a place of like, okay, so let's really talk about what you really want, what your real fears are, what's really happening here, and 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 start coaching on those things that actually matter. Because mm -hmm. the weights, the weight is just noise. It's just noise keeping people from talking about and doing anything about what they really want and what really matters. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Total sense. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to become a confident and masterful life coach? Imagine feeling completely supported by a brilliant sisterhood while you launch your dream business and attain financial freedom. 
Mentor Masterclass is an all-in life coach training program for 40 women who are on a mission to learn from the best. You can join Mentor Masterclass at the beginning of any new month while spaces are available. Head on over to mentormasterclass.com to learn more about the training and apply now.